Hey, hi, hello, welcome to Kit and Kajira Gaming, welcome if you are new, you can call me KK, and in today's video, we may be a little late for Spookyween, but we're trying to keep up here with a touch of magic dress inspired by Emily from The Corpse Bride. Now a lot of these motifs that I am using in today's design are some of the basic ones that you should already have within your motif collection. If not, they can easily be replicated using some of the basic shapes that DLV has to offer for all players. Let's go ahead and let's get started. To start a design off with this long sleeve dress and because I wanted to make sure that the cutoff sleeves were the same color as my skin, I did go ahead and choose the blue option which was released during the Monster Inc. update. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some basic shapes like our rectangles and squares and just block off the top of the dress because Emily does have a sweetheart neckline on her wedding dress and I definitely wanna end up replicating that. So I do need to make sure that the skin tone on the arms and the upper chest area match my actual body. Now I ended up changing the dress from white to that second option of gray, but unfortunately the motifs, even if you do select the same square as the other ones are always a shade off. So I'm just going to have to go ahead and finagle some other shapes in here to kind of at least make the bodice match. Now I'm taking this black square and placing it right under the right side of her chest because this is going to represent where Emily's bones are showing. And then I'm going to go in with our little half semicircle line thing and we're just going to create some rib cages that are poking out. So I don't like how it is so jagged and there's no way to actually line up the square with the edges of this circle. So I'm just going to take some other basic shapes and just kind of block it off so it at least looks like one smooth pattern. And then I'm going to take some more basic shapes and just create the entire bodice so that entire top part is that same solid color. Once I have the top all done, I'm going to go in with this embroidered rose that I do believe is part of the basic motif package. And I'm just going to make the entire top part of the bodice this beautiful lace looking pattern. Now, I don't know if it is just me with the way I'm getting my cameras angled or if there's something going on with DLV's motifs but I've been having some really hard time getting these motifs to actually lay the way I want them to. Anytime I put them near any other sort of clipping point, they end up clipping to that point instead of staying on the original clipping site, i.e. the bodice that I'm currently working on. But I digress. We're gonna go ahead and take this ombre from one of the miscellaneous or shapes options. And we're just gonna do a dark teal and place it at the very bottom. And we're gonna place three around the bottom of her skirt to give that very ethereal glow. Now I could have taken this center one and honestly shrunken it in a little bit so there wasn't those harsh lines and tried to make it blend some, but I think it creates a motion in the skirt that isn't really there when you're standing still. I'm taking a smaller version and placing this up by the chest to add some depth and dimension so it doesn't just look like a bunch of blocky colors sitting on the top of this dress. We're going to go in with this little flourish embellishment again on that dark teal and we're just going to create a center belt line where the seams meet from the bodice to the skirt and we're just adding some little touches of details here and there with it. Now, Emily is known for having one skeleton arm, and I decided well after I'd already made one sleeve the same skin color is I'm going to make this look like a skeleton arm. So I'm going to do the trick that I did for all of my other Halloween Touch of Magic designs, and I'm going to use these oblong, they're not quite ovals, but they're not quite circle shaped, and I'm just going to create the two connecting bones, and then I'm going to change that color of the sleeves rectangle that I used black to kind of try to mask that it's actually still attached to you and that it is still a full working arm instead of a bone.
Now I wanted to add just a quaint little nod to the little worm that pops out of her skull with this little bug motif. I believe this is from the Lion King collection and I think this is one you have to find in one of your chests or the pouches. I don't think this is a base game one but I'm just trying to get it to level up to where it looks like it is sitting on her shoulder again just as a tiny little nod and after I get it positioned where I want to I am going to go back in with some skin colored block and just hide it underneath everything so all you see is this one little green worm and not the rest of them. I did end up adding a rectangle and a starburst on her right arm and then I'm also going to go in with this like ripped jean pattern on the other arm to kind of resemble her wedding glove. So now it is time to completely change our character to look more like Emily so I ended up going with this wavy hairstyle i couldn't decide if i wanted to be wavy or straight because both of them were long but the straight one was just too straight so i went with the wavy again in this dark teal even though she does have a dark blue hair color in the movie i think the teal just plays off nicely with the skin tone to darken her eyes and play up on the tim burton s i'm going to do the typical high blush but i'm going to make it dark blue and black we're going to change her eyes to entirely white and select the tiniest pupil because she does have pinprick eyes. And then for her makeup, we are just doing black and dark blue eyeshadow again to kind of make her eyes look sunken in. To add those high cheekbones, we are going to go with... I was playing around with having the bugs on her face but then changed my mind because it didn't give the effect I wanted so to give her the sunken in cheek look we're going with this one that kind of looks like an alien with eyeballs everywhere and I just put the circle eyes as close to her skin color as possible and then made the lines that go across her cheekbones black so it does look like she has sunken in eyes and of course her classic red lips are going to finish off her makeup look and a gold ring is going to finish off the look altogether. And there we have our lovely Corpse Bride Touch of Magic dress design. I hope you guys did enjoy making this dress with me. Let me know in the comments down below what you think on my Emily Corpse Bride inspired dress. And if you guys try to recreate it, be sure to tag me on Twitter at Kit and Kajira or check the description box down below for all of my socials that's twitch twitter and discord and share it with me over there in the discord channel i would love to see your creations come to life while you guys are down in the description box if you guys are looking for a like-minded community over on facebook be sure to check out the two amazing facebook groups linked down below one is dreamlight valley adults after dark it is 21 and up and we do get a tad bit spicy and snarky and dark in there and the other one is dreamlight gamers formerly known as dreamlight valley multiplayer verse both groups offer various types of games giveaways and prizes and no group is run the same like i said adults after dark is a little bit spicy whereas dreamlight gamers is a tad bit more focused on helping you make the best of your gameplay experience if live streams are more your thing i do stream on twitch quite a few days a week so be sure to follow me on discord and on twitch and set those notifications for when i go live and if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to give me a great big thumbs up. It really and truly does help me in the algorithm. And don't forget, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. It'll go ding in your inbox every time I post. I'm a small time content creator looking to grow her channel in 2024. And I hope you guys will continue on this journey with me. Thank you so much for sticking out with me while I designed this Emily dress. I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.